Well, welcome to an absolutely gorgeous evening. And I shan't say boiling hot. I'm not in the greenhouse today, Gordon. I'm in my shed. So where we've uh, sort of picked up from yesterday, we've um, just featherboarded all the front end now. Uh, absolutely killed me um, the batteries on me me saw me saw start again. The wood absolutely killed me batteries with me saw, which that also uses the. Uh, the batteries for me draw as well so we're just very low on power now for uh to do the door and the uh the, the window so i'll see how much we can get cracked on with what's left of the day what's it's about quarter past seven now uh monday evening but uh yeah well this was so wet really green it just it's always just having trouble lots <laughs> Cut your boards before you put them up. I put them up full length. Not only did I realise that my saw was inside, that I had to then climb over and get it through, that I couldn't saw, saw with my normal hand saw. So I used this. I thought, oh, that'll make easy work of it. Oh no. Frank Spencer. Terrible. Uh, well, I can sort that out. I mean, there's going to be like a little door jam anyway that's going to go down here to stop the door from going all the way in. But it's a shed at me allotment at the end of the day. It's uh, it's not a shed built for uh, the old uh, Chelsea flower show. So, um, I'm not too fussed. But we've got the, uh, the roof all done. So we'll walk the tight now. I've just got to um, feather that in. I don't know what I'll do. Uh, maybe put a batten, batten across it just to tidy it up. Get rid of the rough edge. Um, but that'd be, I'm not fussed about that now. It, the main thing is we, we are watertight. So that is good. That is good. Well, did I just say watertight? You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I mean, it's not forecast rain for this week anyway, I believe. So, um, should have the door done tomorrow and the uh, and the hatch. So it'll all be done. It will. Right. I'll catch you back up in a minute for a uh, for another update on um, full of splinters uh, on the shed. So I'll try and make the door frame. See you in a minute. A few moments later. Well, it's all done. Well, the shed, almost there, should I say. Just some uh, finishing off touches. Um, I'll be putting batten just all down the, down the outsides. Rub batten across there to tidy them bits up. Same across the front. Eye fever's bad again today. And as you see a nice, we'll do one across the back there as well.
Uh, so today is Wednesday. Uh, last week on Monday evening, uh, what basically happened was that the the drill battery was completely dead. So uh, I measured up, went home, and made the door at home. So we made all that at home and uh, come up yesterday, done the window, no windows on my shed, done the, uh, done the window, uh, built a temporary shelf, got to be done straight away, so we're now going to have the brews on the go, and the way the, uh, the hatch works, obviously I'll have a better device, this is all temporary at the minute, just out he goes, and he just support on string. I'm gonna um, gonna get some chains for that later. So uh, all in all, looking good. There we go. Got my favourite cup. Some more cup hooks. And uh, as I said, I'm gonna build. We're going to build a uh, like a bench here uh, with uh, two lift-up compartments. One compartment's going to contain the uh, port lily for uh, for wets only, no solids, and that'll be in the base of there. And the other one will be uh, like a cooler box, which would be nice next to the toilet. Uh, so that will be hidden underneath there. I'm going to build a uh, lovely cushion to go on top and a nice backrest as well and then here I'm gonna have down a folding table that comes down so both me and the wife can sit here have the table in front of us and uh, eat some lovely fresh salad which will be lovely uh, over this side we're gonna have a obviously the shelf is gonna cut start from here and go around and then along there as well uh, which we can use for potting up or whatever, storing stuff, but nothing value is going to be left in here at night, as I mentioned to um, Jim Boa. That, uh, that's uh, what it looks like. As I mentioned to uh, Jim Boa, there's, um, there's been quite a few thefts up here speaking to a lot of the people and what they normally do is just um, just leave their sheds unlocked. Uh, there's just no point because if they want to break in, they're breaking and they cause damage. Door's not locked, they can have a look inside. They want to keep in here for tonight or the night, fine, let them get on with it. Uh, but there'll be nothing in here for the steel, obviously that'll be going home every evening. Cups will probably stay. Um, you know, if they want to nick me Nick me favourite cup then they can. Uh, the chairs have been here. And th that'll be it, nothing of any value. So, it'll just be left like that. This will be where we uh, keep all the tools in here. Um, yeah, okay, they can break in, but they've got to have a little bit more equipment with them, haven't they? They've got to have a they got to be up here bashing away, making noise. Whereas here, it's just they just they just rip the doors off. And uh, I'd rather them get in, have a look, so there's nothing, and then move on, then wreck me shed. That's it. Uh, like I say, it's boiling hot, roasting. And the uh, reason I didn't film yesterday, I um, mean, my hay fever was really bad. And not only that, I was in such a mess. Uh, I had a white t-shirt on again, and I was just completely covered in uh, dirt and sweat and everything. It was just not a good look. Uh, well, it's been good. Like I said, I've um, sort of, over the last, well, since Saturday, really, the allotment's taken a bit of a back burner. We've still got to cut the grass, do the borders. And uh, she's, um, <laughs> Let down the bottom. There she is, look at her. 
doing a bit of weed and lead down, which she shouldn't be doing, but she doesn't mind. <laughs> you enjoying yourself? No, it's too hot. It's too hot. But we have been uh, picking raspberries as well today. You can see some right back there. Wait for them to come up. So we, we've got planned for tonight is um, got a bit of ice cream. We got some raspberries with it. Um, I don't know if you see them. I'll just show you the few of the ones we picked. We'll pick a few more in a minute. But they're lovely. I think we've eaten more than we've picked. So there's our raspberries. Uh, so we'll try and make a double portion. Because I'll just have that for, not, for, my, for myself. Yummy yum. Anyway, so that's it for today. Uh, must remember to keep taking these Aegiva tablets. We're going to uh, crack on, do a little bit more, uh, bit more weeding, and then we're going to go home. We're not going to start here like we normally do. Uh, and then for the rest of the week, we're going to start coming up around about. Six, seven o'clock in the evening, and just spend a couple of hours in the evening up here. It's a bit, it's a bit cooler. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy. You can't do anything in this weather. So, until tomorrow, have a good one. Say bye, Kim. She's a woman.